So I chose to do it this way because then I have more room for my camera. I have more room for my lights. So I chose this background here with a nice whiteboard. It's clean, it's straight, it's a nice simple color. It's a very simple tone. And so this actually makes a very good backdrop. If I'm in an office, maybe you wanna close up some space, block out a time so clients aren't reaching you, so that people are knocking on your door, your phone isn't ringing, something isn't ringing. I know that's gonna be tricky, but this way you can properly be in the mode, you can focus, and there's not gonna be interrupting sounds. This video is brought to you by Sweet Success at ESS Direct. Sweet Success offers professional meeting, event, and office space that can suit your budget and the type of environment you need. You can also rent event rooms with custom seating, catering, and a variety of rental options to fit your event style and budget. For more information, go to sweetsuccess.ca, helping your business be a sweet success. Hello everyone, my name is James Martin from Match Cut Media and Promotion. We're here to help you to create high quality videos so that you can add value back to your customers. We believe that when you add value back to your customers, it'll not only help you increase your clientele and find the right clients for you, it'll also help you gain the trust from those customers and it'll also help you increase sales. We're starting a very special series where I'm going to explore different environments, different rooms and settings and kind of go through how to frame, how to light, and how to do sound, and basically create the best video possible in those types of environments. So I'm gonna discuss what the options are, what I'm gonna be thinking, what's the process, and if you like this type of series, please let me know down in the comments, and then I'll create more. So today we're in an office space brought to us by our sponsor. We're in one of their very special meeting rooms called The Lounge. Beautiful, beautiful office space. And this is a perfect environment to go through what you might be dealing with when you're in your own office and the type of things you might wanna be thinking about. Now, sound wise, this also has a bit of a backfire because as you can probably tell from listening to this, there's a lot of echo. There's what's called reverb. It's got a lot of space. So it's not as sharp as my other videos that I usually do in my studio. So this may play a factor, this may not play a factor. I'm not gonna edit this, I'm, not just, gonna sh I'm just showing you what the room actually sounds like with me speaking. It's very important that you make sure that sound isn't just about the quality of the sound, but can we hear you speak? Is there any interrupting noise? So what do we have to work with? So I just mentioned that this room has a bit of an echo because it's big, it's spacious, and there's a lot of hard material, right? If I was in somewhere with you know, carpets and couches and whatnot, then the sound wouldn't be as echoey as it is in here. You know, maybe this is fine for you. If you have a space like this and you know what, if it's echoey, I would just say use this, right? I mean, you can always start somewhere and then gradually get better. Eventually, you might want to get a microphone like a lavalier, whether that hooks up to your phone or your camera or is wireless. This is a microphone that's clipped on right here, so obviously there's not much space here. You will get a little bit of reverb, that's just because from the space, but I can do this in order to cut that down and make the noise sharper because the microphone is close to my mouth, right? I'd also want to make sure that I don't get interrupted sound. So if I'm in an office, maybe you want to close up some space, block out a time so clients aren't reaching you, so that people are knocking on your door, your phone isn't ringing, something isn't ringing. I know that's gonna be tricky, but this way you can properly be in the mode, you can focus, and there's not gonna be interrupting sounds. But you also need to make sure that you speak up loudly. So you might wanna just let other people know if you've got tenants, if there's other people beside you that's gonna be listening to you, speaking and whatnot, you might wanna just let them know that, hey guys, just letting you know I'm doing the video, I'm speaking, you know, so you're gonna be hearing me speaking for the next 10, 15, 30 minutes. So just be aware that I am doing a video. And if you can make sure that you keep your sound as quiet as possible, you know, that way I can just do my video. And then just let them know how long you're gonna be. I'm gonna be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, you know, and then just like, can you please just keep it quiet just for that long? And then go back, let them know, listen, I'm done. Go back to what you're normally doing. So it's important that we have that in our environment as well. 
And that's it. So I hope you got value out of this video. And if you did, please give this a massive thumbs up and share this to other people, other business owners and entrepreneurs so that they benefit from this as well. All right, make sure you please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you, you don't miss a single upload that we post and you get notified every time we upload a new tip or video. All right, here's a question of the day. What do you usually do to shoot a video in your office? Let me know down in the comments below and remember your tip and your advice could also help other people who are challenged with that same situation as well. And if you comment below, I'll join you in the discussion as well. So good luck. I hope you enjoyed this new series and I wish you the best of luck and have an amazing week and I will see you next time.